Okay, we're going to make a simple slug trap. So there's no chemicals being used in our organic garden to get rid of slugs and snails. We've marked a, a line around a circumference around the top and the idea is this needs to be large enough to allow the largest snails to get inside. And with a sharp knife, be very careful, we're going to make a little incision and cut all the way around the top. Now we've still got a bit of a bend, a bit of a curve. Just quickly remove the label. So now we're going to make another cut down on this line here. This is just a standard bottle. This gets inverted and sits inside. Should be a nice tight fit. The idea is you've got a little recess and this makes it difficult for the snails to crawl back out and we've got some cheap cider uh, two pound for uh, two litres and we'll use this as the bait so we'll just add some cider and you don't need much Now this will be buried down into the soil at that depth so the slugs and snails will climb in and they'll get intoxicated by the, the uh, alcohol and an effective way of killing them and then when you're done when you've, you've collected your snails you pull out the top part and tip the dead snails and slugs into your compost heap Very simple, very effective. And this can be done with most bottles, a uh, Coca Cola bottle. Again, cut round the top. A little bit tougher than the standard uh, water bottles. And we would need to cut this back in this recess. So we just just follow the label. That sits in there nicely. You can see clearly you've got the recess inside that prevents the slugs and snails from climbing back out. Again, a little bit of cider as the bait. I'll 
try this one as well. Again, the circumference needs to be sufficient to allow the largest of snails to get in. Sits inside. Can't remove the label. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we have the same formula. A cone inside. Sits nicely. And then what's up with the solder? To set your trap, a real organic trap, just determine where you're most likely to get the snow from. This soil is very dry. I mean, nothing grows here. And that's it. This is a short one I've made, so this will be used for the pot. And again, just if you can get it down pretty low, I mean the slugs and snails can climb up there. Now this is the damage caused by slugs and snails. You can see the, uh, the slime marks on the cabbages. Although we've protected with a net against caterpillars, they're still struggling with the uh, with the slugs, and, and because these are leafy vegetables and quite tall, we don't need to bury the the trap, so we can just lay it lay it in there, and that should do the trick. The slug and snail traps have been out for three days. So I'll just check see if oh yeah, quite a selection in there. I'll check the others now. Oh, nothing in that one. Wow. There's a lot in that one. Here you can see the damage that they've been doing. Nothing in that one. I wonder I did kill all of the slugs and snails. I got one in that one. And one small one in there. Hope you enjoy making one.
and seeing the results for yourself. Do check out my other website, inclinebedtherapy.com. Thank you very much for watching the video.